Leo, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, it's 8.24 a.m., so all eights there. My computer's on 8%. I just got a text from a Leo right there. Like, simultaneously, all of this is happening. So heavy, heavy, heavy Leo energy, heavy Aquarius energy, um, heavy eighth house energy, Scorpio energy. It's just a lot of, like, very intense energies here. So how are you guys? I'm so happy to be here today. Let's say a quick prayer and let's just jump into it. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Leo on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. Um, just to remind you guys, if you would like to book a personal, the information is below. For this month, when you book a personal, you receive a complimentary love reading, so don't select that. And then also, if you would like to join members, that information is also on the page where we go Monday to Sunday on what's going on and what you guys can expect. So good morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's Monday today. Let's just get into your channel messages and jump into your reading 111 portal energy. What's going on? I'm so excited. You could be getting a new car. I saw a car go by. Um, there was this song that was on my mind. It's actually so crazy. I had a tap solo to this song as a kid. It's called uh, Let the Drummer Kid. Let me see. It's a really, really nice song. You should look it up. It's pretty much just instrumentals and adjectives. <laughs> uh, let the Drummer. It's by Citizen Cope. So something about CC. Wow, he kind of looks like Jason Momoa. Wait, your name could be Jason. And it came out in 2002. But yeah, it's called Let the Drummer Kick That. <laughs> so something about drummer, a drummer boy I'm hearing, or you could be a drummer girl. Um, you could have been in the band trying to think of the different types of drumming that I it's slipping my mind something about Travis um Travis Barker your name could be Travis or your initials could be like TB okay so you could be from Detroit um something about I was seeing the number 10 fruition energy it's a Virgo card in here uh go back to september 4th 2020 and see why that's significant you could be dwelling on something from then um the name sean greg specifically with two g's or hannah could be significant yeah we said that yes remember to be patient with yourself with anything that you're involved with or anything that you're involved in just make sure you're having that patience and compassion with yourself um, also remember don't you don't have to try too hard just be natural be organic let things flow to you you know you could be in your own world or something about having your head in the clouds I was seeing a card from this one deck but we're not using that one today um, also go back to November 5th there's this reading I did for you and it starts off I think I said like if you're watching this you could be in the middle of a tower right now so go back to November 5th and see, you might want to watch that reading. You could be deleting your social media or um, minimizing your social media. You could be a guy scrolling through Instagram and seeing that everyone looks the exact same. Or something about strippers could be significant. You could work at a strip club, you could be a stripper, or you could be going to a strip club, something. I'm seeing people like at a bachelor party or something like that. The name Pierre could be significant. You could be um, something about a court case or something about being on trial. This could be the mother or father of your kid. Yeah, they might be on trial or they might have some type of court case. I was hearing racketeering, but then I was like, wait. I don't really know too much what that means so like I know what it means but I don't know what type of situation you would be in to get a charge like that but yeah something about a Virgo something about 1998 could be significant you could have had a kid while you were in college this is kind of gi giving me like a old New York movie like I'm seeing uh, 
like mafias and stuff like that. This could be a movie that you're watching or something. You could be shopping. I was hearing Forever 21. I was hearing Zara. <laughs> also remember words are powerful, so watch what you say. Go back to March 1st, 2020 and April 6, 2020 as well and see why that's significant. Um, anything else? Yeah, that's all. All right, let's get into your reading. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. You can make music because my mug, it says when your song comes on. And to me, that's like your favorite song. But when I was seeing it, it kind of reminded me of like when your song comes on, like when I, if I made a song and it came on. So maybe you do music or something. Or maybe you just have a fire playlist. <laughs> uh, lots of five, shuffling for Leo. Shuffling for Leo, what's going on? My first reading today. Yeah, compassion came out, number three. So like we were saying before, be patient with yourself, be compassionate with yourself. Make sure you're nurturing your inner child here. So your creativity, your ideas, make sure you're giving yourself enough room to bring those to life, make them happen. Also, make sure you're not approaching things with too much fear behind them. Make sure you're being lighthearted and really listen. Yeah, if you want to use the most of your potential or your peers' potential, this season is about listening, learning, gaining insight and knowledge from people around you, adults, even ancestor, ancestral guidance, I'm hearing too. Yeah, and then Leo energy on the bottom of the deck. All these things you need to incorporate before your ascension, before your new beginning, because it's all in reverse right now. Also, something about heightening your intuition, listening more to your intuition. Yeah, that'll really help you stand in your power, but it's in reverse right now. So, tower moment. There's something you need to completely purify and like really just reprogram the mind there's a virgo reading i have in the virgo playlist called reprogramming of the mind you might want to go watch that yeah because there's like a i'm hearing reset that needs to happen because it kind of it'll affect all aspects of your life so yeah if you reset yourself and you start from scratch ground zero then it'll it'll shine in the rest of your life you'll experience much more pleasure much more success so on and so forth. Shuffling for Leo. Anything else for Leo? Something about work could be significant or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Something could be out of balance when it comes to sexual energy. This fell right on top of pleasure, but in reverse here. Three, six, nine, creation. With the child here, some of you could be pregnant and that's about to be a tower moment. Oh my goodness, you could be finding out that you're pregnant soon. Between March and May, you guys, this is affirmative. I wish you could see the way these are positioned. Um, I'll actually just show you. So, can you see? All right, so you have pleasure here, right? Virgo energy in reverse. So this is like Virgo energy, but during Pisces season, right? Child on top of that. Compassion here, three, six, nine here, huge tower. Oh my goodness, child, child. So just beware of that. Be careful <laughs> of conception and success on the bottom of the deck. Taurus energy, the home life, ace of ecstasy. So beware, you guys, beware. Double Virgo energy, double Virgo energy, that's two nines, which is 18, cancer, mothering energy. The wise woman on the bottom of the deck who is hella pregnant. Did we just say deck? <laughs> I'm hearing daiquiri, strawberry daiquiri, maybe like a drunk night. Yeah, be careful. And this looks like boy girl energy. So for those of you who, yeah, you guys, 15, 16, 17, you have initiation tower and the star. Cause you know, we come from stardust, right? Babies, they're Leo energy. I see children. I see children. So just beware, beware, beware. Let's get a new spread. Not beware like it's a bad thing, but like if this isn't something that you're expecting, I'm letting you know you should expect it because it's here. It's right here. Whew. 
that was a strong message for at least, yeah, at least six people out there. <laughs> Anything else for Leo? Yeah, Leo energy here on the bottom of the deck. Yo, oh my goodness. Here it is again, boy, girl energy. And then the two strongest cards that fell on the floor, a child, Leo energy, and conflict. You guys. Okay, let's move on to a different spread. We might come back to this one. Yeah, it's 8.35 now, so 8.8. 19% battery, Leo energy, the lovers, Gemini energy. So some type, some type of communication, or you could be dealing with a Gemini, somebody with lots of Gemini in their chart, or a very good conversationalist. Remember I said head in the clouds energy, and you see the pink clouds behind them? Like I see two people just like not having a care in the world, really enjoying each other's company, and then there's some type of tower. Something is realized, chariot in reverse here. Shuffling for Leo. Also, clarify for Leo. Five of Swords here. Three of Swords. <laughs> Look at this. You, I've never pulled the camera down so you can see the cards like this. You have Five of Swords the lovers ten of swords three of swords this is like you know just enjoying your life everything's fine then it's like oh my god what just happened here 15 8 that's 18 swords that's cancer energy that's mothering energy this message might be for like one person out there to be honest but they're really like really exemplifying the fact that somebody's finding out about a pregnancy i just saw a car go by soon YouTube notification right there. Very soon, yeah, two of coins. It takes two, it takes two, it takes two to tango. High Priestess, two more. Twins? Is it, <laughs> is it twins? Oh my goodness. Two of coins, five of coins, ace of coins. That's seven coins, something's growing. Like a, um, like, okay, seven coins in my, What's it called? The Wild Unknown Tarot deck. The seven coins, they're like, they're raising, like singular, raising the bar. They're going upwards. And you know, as a woman, the first month, you know, the second month, you're growing. Something's growing within you. So you guys, this really might be for one person out there, the sun, but Leo energy. That's just what's coming out. Two of swords again. Five of cups. So there's, if this isn't a pregnancy, this is some shocking news that just may be hard to hear, hard to handle. If this isn't about your physical, like, body, this could be something dealing with your mother. Like, you're just kind of, like, chilling, enjoying your life, and then something about your mom may happen or something about your mom kind of pops up or maybe your mom needs you for something and you kind of have to stop what you're doing and tend to that but whatever this is i feel like it definitely comes out of nowhere you're not expecting it because there's such an emphasis on like chilling like pink clouds really just leaning into someone's company leaning into each other you know and then it's just like uh, uh, uh. i'm hearing that one scary movie noise it's like <laughs> oh my god. And they told me that, yeah, the magician here, they told me only use three decks today for Leo. I was like, three decks? They're gonna be so offended. Like, I already see the comments. Why is our reading so short? Da 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 da. Why is everybody else get an hour long reading? We only get 30 minutes. Like, y'all be coming for me. Look, Leo energy, all y'all. Choo choo choo. But this is a very specific message, you guys. Very, very specific message. So just. Like maybe if it's not for you, it could apply to some other aspect of your life. I would also invite you to go watch your sun, moon, rising because we are going to get through a lot of signs today. So try to make a, a full story in that way. But the queen of cups is here. Three of wands in reverse is here. Two of cups in reverse is here. I feel like something's very unexpected. But tying the knot, like look at the look at the wands and then it makes a little infinity eight leo energy aquarius energy the hermit on the bottom of deck 
<laughs> what? The Hermit on the, on the bottom of the deck in reverse. So I feel like you're finding out about this during Pisces season. So sometime between February 20th and March, let's say February 20th, March 20th, you will hear news. So if it's not you, it's someone in your household, someone very close to you, something like that of a pregnancy. Yeah, Queen of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. Give me one second. Let me go. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. So big message, guys. Let's look at the light and the shadow attributes deck and... Shuffling for Leo. The light is what you can see. The dark is what you cannot see. Every time I think to myself, like, should this be posted or like, should I just scrap this video? A car drives by, so <laughs> I have to post it. I did Aries and Libra the other day. Those didn't get posted. Where the planets were, it just something was telling me like the videos are fine but i feel like they weren't ready to be received so i kind of have to be sensitive to that as well leo leo are you there <laughs> leo has left the stage leo has left the vicinity yeah five of swords in reverse oh my goodness i feel like as soon as i started talking about pregnancy leo was like what ten of wands i've gotta go but two of wands on the bottom of the deck, that's 12 wands right here. Something about travel could be significant. What you don't see coming is either there's some type of travel or some type of reciprocity during Pisces season. Yeah, queen of swords in reverse here, five of swords in reverse. Rooms to go, a great night's sleep. I hear sirens outside. Something about a new mattress. Maybe some of you are buying a new mattress or you need to. Something about your back could be significant. Back pains could be significant. I'm seeing that big pillow, like the big pregnancy pillow. My aunt used to have it on the side when I would stay over there with my little cousin so she wouldn't fall off the bed. <laughs> but I'm seeing that. But like three of swords, I see... I see a big decision being made, no matter what this is in your life. I definitely see some type of travel, some type of like reciprocity. This could be you applying for a job and maybe having to travel for a new position and being a little bit conflicted about that. You don't see this coming yet. Ten of serpents though, but there's a lot of money involved here on the bottom of the deck. Whether you're going to have to invest this money or you're going to be receiving this money, it's up to your situation. But ten of swords here, there's a big decision to be made. The chariot, are you going to move forward with something? or not this is still in the dark leo energy right underneath it i feel like whatever this is you're gonna i'm hearing persevere and then you see this bow and arrow on the ground and we were talking about sagittarius energy they usually have an arrow clarify for leo the sun came out as a dark attribute in reverse. Ten of wands. You guys got ten wands as a dark attribute. Ten of wands as a light attribute. Ten of swords as a dark attribute. Ten of serpents as a light attribute. The chariot as a dark attribute. The sun as a dark attribute. Three of swords. This is a tough ass decision, you guys. I don't know what this is. I'm literally hearing life or death. Like, it's starting to feel like I'm hearing, uh, oh, yeah, it's getting serious. I'm hearing, like, the monitor at the hospital, like, the beep, beep, beep. And, like, this is, like, a decision. Like, whether this is just metaphorical, it's like, are we going to scrap this? Are we going to pull the plug on something? This could be an investment, a deal. This could be something. Or does it have life? Your internet for everything? The whole screen just went off right there. Um... 10, 10, 10, 10. Something about paying attention to the details. Follow the leader. Follow or get advice. 
get a second opinion about something you guys what is this this is important though like i know for sure this is important and this is going down in pisces season and there's something about travel here because i'm seeing a big ass compass too i'm hearing will will you stay will you go like this is this is big you guys i don't know what this is let's look at the other half of the deck we're only 20 minutes in too yeah this is four of swords as a dark attribute and it's like you can't say anything or you feel like you can't talk to anyone about something or there's some type of spark you guys hold on clarify for leo please You have 13 here, 13 death on the bottom of the deck, the world in reverse on the bottom of the deck, three of cups. So it's like, you're looking at the pros and the cons of both sides of the coin here. Something, if you decide to go in that direction, it's like, oh, it's like, it feels like a lifelong commitment as a child would be, you know? Or it's like moving to a different part of the world or something like that. Like that's a really big commitment. Four, three, two, one. Something about the next four days. Thursday could be significant. You might realize something on Thursday that has to do with all this. But I feel like you're really going to know what this is between February and March. Yeah. I see someone stunned, like frozen. Queen of Wands, here you are. Leo Sach Aries. There might be a question of money here. The hangman. Did y'all hear that? The hangman on top of the king of the sorry, the hangman on top of the three of swords here. So Pisces energy, like not really knowing what to do, maybe feeling conflicted about finances in this situation. I see the emperor and the wheel as a dark attribute. Six of Cups in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse. It's like the ego just falls away instantly with whatever this is. I see the ego, like, and not, I'm not saying ego is a bad thing, but like your outer shell just like disintegrating. This might just be like a really big realization, Nine of Cups. This might be something that makes you really happy. It's either you're going to be really happy or just really stunned, really shocked, really something. It just depends on what spectrum you're on. But Virgo energy on the bottom of the deck, this could have to do with work. If it's not an actual Virgo here, eight of wands, really fast action, seven of wands. It's 15 wands. That's a contract. Dark and light. The hermit and the king of cups. You guys, I'm going to pull one more spread. I'm going to pull one more spread, and then I'm going to just let this play out. Never have I ever gotten a message like this. Lots of nines here. Lots of Virgo energy. Lots of energy surrounding work. This could be you finding out something about your job or the place you work. Eight of Wands. This is happening fast. Six of Serpents. This could be a gift. This could be, it could be anything. Like if you've been trying to get pregnant and this is like the moment you've been waiting for for like the last five years, this is that like baby on the bottom of the deck, baby on board, you know, but this could be, it just, I really, it feels like it, it's biased just based on where you stand. Like the situation for a 13, not 13 year old, like a 17 year old watching this is going to be very different than like. A 46 year old watching this you know it just depends yeah oh leo anything else for leo leo energy just popped out courage be strong be brave yep the tower has not hit yet it is approaching it is approaching this is the number 16th on the bottom of the deck and the leo full moon falls on the 16th and if today is the 7th 
that means the 16th is what nine days away and we kept seeing nines you guys so nine days the leo full moon oh my god courage here whatever you've been an illusionment about whatever you've been i'm hearing it disillusionment or whatever you've been an illusion about, courage here, compassion here, judgment is being called high priestess right here. Like Feb like walking into Pisces season, February just in general, I just see judgment. Something from 2016 could be significant, judgment. 2016 to 2018, judgment. Like there, there's judgment. So... There's so there's very it's very rare when readings end like that. I, <laughs> and this should be posted. Yep, desire. Mother regeneration. Mother. So heavy. If you're not becoming a mother, it's like about your mother or something that has to do with your mother. Yeah. High priestess. Wait on it. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but God bless. This is not, like I said, this is not meant to scare. This is just like, it could be anything, guys. But just know it's a big deal. Like, it's a really, really, really big deal. So, God bless. Let me know what happens.